Hmm, not a cramp to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There! No, over there! <gasps> the coconut! It's gone! Tweak, spotlight! Nothing! Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw. On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, oh, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Aaron! Going all up to the quasi giant crab. That's our gob. Oh, whatever it is, it ate our leader. <laughs> Fiddler crabs, we are the Octonauts. We need to work together to stop our gob and save your leader. If we don't, your homes will be destroyed. Oh. <laughs> we will let you help us. No more snapping. And you may tend to my claw. 
Stop that gob! <laughs> There's only one way to catch it now! Fiddler Crab's tunnels were destroyed by the sinkhole. Oh, thank you. You saved us. Our beach is clean. The giant crab is defeated, and our homes are safe. This calls for a celebration. Hey! Quasi, activate creature report. Tell me your name, please. Uh, get me out. Uh, okay, Mr. Uh, get me out. Uh, now this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm oh, stuck. Oh. Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh, ow, that hurts. Uh, sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry. We'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here. Uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. 
If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell, grow up, get bigger, and then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Calling all octonauts! Quasi! Peso! Chanter! Dushi! Inkling! Wait! Turn up! <clears throat> Quasi, activate creature report! Creature report! Creature report! Hermit crabs don't have a shell. Check, check, check. They hunt for one that fits really well. Check, check. They find a shell that they can fit inside. And live there till they grow too wide. That's how hermit crabs know when. Check, check. It's time to find a brand new shell and move again. That's break. Not at ease until the next adventure. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain, too loud. Too maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Hi. But maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha! I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. 
You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Huh. I don't have a plan. Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Pizza. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. Back. Grab has an urchin on his back. Check. 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 So urchin gets to share the snack. Check. Check. But there's more to their connection. The urchins get the crab's protection. Crabs and urchins help each other. Symbiosis means they depend on one another. That's break! The crabs, the urchins, the crabs. Creature reports, creature reports, creature reports. We're done with our mission. Octonauts at ease. Until the next adventure! So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as Octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> Calling all Octonauts. Quasi. Pacer. Charter. Dishy. Inkling. Wait. Turn up. <clears throat> Quasi. Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! Back. Spider crabs grow very old. Check, check, check! Do 
100 years we're told. Check, check. The biggest crabs under the sea. They're as big as they can be. To pinch her arm so they can grab. Check, check. With eight legs like a spider, it's called a spider crab. Let's break. Our mission. Until the next adventure. Yeah.